Hey guys, it's Carlos Graves from DroidDog.com, and today I'm going to show you how to flash a kernel. Um, this is kernel 2.6.32. Um, it is by Pershute. Um, and what we're basically just going to do is download that one right there. Not the extra one, just the regular one. Um, and this works on Cyanogen ROMs, um, as well as Enom's ROMs, as you can see right there. Those ones will work there. These ones are special though that you can flash them right from recovery. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this will show you how to flash any other ROMs if you don't really know how. Um, this is a kernel, so let's flash this. Alright, so we're going to start right from here. This is just my home screen as you can see. Uh, I'm going to show you every little step that you're going to have to take. Uh, one I've done already, I downloaded the zip file and I put it on the root of my SD card, which means not in any of the folders, just drag it and drop it just right onto the first page of your SD card uh, when you mount to your computer. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to shut this off. And we're going to want to boot into recovery, uh, which is holding the down volume down rocker button. Hold that first, and keep holding it while you hold the power button. And you'll come into a white screen. There we go. And you'll have a couple options. Recovery is your second one. Um, so you're going to want to uh, scroll down to recovery using the down volume rocker, and then just hit the power button and it'll boot you into recovery. And here we are. Uh, my recovery version is Amonra's Nexus version 1.6.2. Um, I have just the normal one, no Care Bear stuff for me, thank you. So what you want to do is make sure it's already on there. And you can see mine is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click it, and then it'll say uh, press trackball to confirm, press any other key to abort, so if I press like the volume key, it'll abort it. So I'm just going to go down there, click like that, and press the trackball, and it will start flashing that. I'm not going to cut out any of this just so you can see how long it'll take. And there we go, it'll say install from SD card complete. And now what you can do is just reboot system now. And it will reboot. What this kernel is supposed to offer, what I've heard, um, is a pretty good battery life. Um, and that's always good for an Android user because we tend to use our phones a lot and we don't tend to have any devices with great batteries. Um, but Nexus Ones isn't horrible. Uh, it lasted me all day today at 50% when I got home, so that's pretty good. Um, but hopefully this will do the trick um, and we will see. Um, we'll see. You can see too if you flash this. And remember, we are not responsible for any broken devices uh, using any of the methods we show on camera, that I show on camera. Nobody else really covers this kind of stuff. Uh, so Droid Dog and I are not responsible. And there we go. It is all ready. And before you start asking, um, this widget is called Beautiful Widgets. I just posted a review on it, so go check that out too. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash carlosgraves. Uh, check out droiddog.com for more news that isn't on YouTube. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a nice night.